Hello everyone and welcome back to Nikki's Adventures. Today we're heading to PetSmart to show you unsafe and safe hamster items and unsafe and safe parakeet items and also some fun holiday themed items that are also safe and unsafe. So let's go, like and subscribe and enjoy the video. brand Timmy Tails. They make hamster cages. Their cages are way too small. They cannot provide enough enriching accessories and toys. The pan at the bottom is also an inch tall, which is not nearly enough bedding for a hamster. It should be eight inches at least. At least. That is the absolute bare minimum. The wheel is also way too small, which can lead to back problems. And also the way the drinking bottle is positioned can also ruin their neck. But this is also so mar marketed towards kids. And hamsters might not be the best pet for kids because they are nocturnal and they sleep at nighttime. So that kids could also wake them up during the day and hamsters are really small and they're really hard to handle sometimes and if kids get a little rough there could be a problem there and the tube in there is also way too small for a Syrian hamster especially if their cheek pouches are stuffed they can easily get stuck and also the brand Critter Trail and Full Cheeks have the same problems as these. I had my hamster living in a Full Cheeks before but now I immediately upgraded him after I found out the harmful things. Here are the brand Teeny Tails tubes. As I said before, they're way too small for a Syrian hamster, especially if their cheek pouches are stuffed. They can easily get stuck in there. Maybe for a dwarf hamster, but I don't prefer having their cages stuffed with plasticky items. I mean, a big cage is okay, a plastic wheel or a plastic kind of, that's great, and that's perfectly fine, but I don't like having their whole cage stuffed with plastic, and also that's really easy to chew through plastic, depending on the hamster. So let's talk about this wheel. I personally do not recommend flying saucers because they throw your hamster off the wheel. And for Syrian hamsters, a wheel must be 8 inches or more, and for dwarfs, it should be 6 inches or more. This is a food dispenser. It can only fit pellets in there, which is not a variety of food. These food bowls are also safe, but um, you should be scatter feeding your hamster. It adds more enrichment. These water bottles are safe, and the position is not bad. These hamster sprays and fresheners are not good because it's taking away their scent, and they do not like bats, and they love their scent, so... And do not also like being wipes, like grooming wipes. They could groom themselves, they don't need wipes. Here are their enrichment toys. I think these are very good enriching toys. Um, the only things that are not good are the mineral chews because they should be getting all the vitamins and health nutritions they need in their food diet. They do not need mineral chews. And I like this toy right here because they could chew on it and I don't think they're going to put it back together in a puzzle but they could chew on it. And these are really good chew toys. They add some color and a pop of color to the cage. And if you're going for a natural look, they have natural ones as well. And this is also things you would find in the forest kind of, so it adds more of a natural feel. They have nice chewing, bendable bridges. Very, very nice here. Um, yeah, again, these mineral chews are not okay. But this, like, just um, scatter feed some food in there. But I also feel like that you can make some of these things homemade yourself. But if you're not available to make it yourself, you could always come here and buy it. So they have some really good sand options here. Reptile sand is really good as well. They also have these treats, but they are very honey and sugar filled, which is very sweet. And yogurt drops are not good either. This treat is good because it's just seeds. This is oxbow hay, and it is good if you want to layer it in with their real bedding. This is paper-based bedding. Anything paper-based is good, and I prefer non-dyed or scented. Pine and cedar are bad beddings. This is a good stone right here. It's almost like a countertop. These birds are so cute and adorable. I want to take them all home with me. I love that bird. Comment down below if you want the true backstory of Nixie. How adorable. These toys in it are enriching. They could peck at it and it adds a nice pop of color to their cage. You could put their seed mix in there and it's really fun. And it looks cute. Mirrors. My bird had a bad experience with mirrors. He threw up, not like he was sick, but almost regurgitated out all his food. And that was making him hungry onto the mirrors. I think all birds do that, but maybe it was just Nixie. Here are the seed mixes. Some of these are low variety, but they should be max high variety. Nixie likes that one and doesn't really like this one. It should have a max variety. They sell tanks here. These are fish tanks, but they're also good for hamsters, and they're way cheaper than those teeny tail things that provide no enrichment. You can add as much bedding and enriching toys as you can here. Holiday item safe for foraging. 